All right, this is the damper pulley. It's attached to the crankshaft. This is a 19 millimeter bolt. Uh, I need to get this off. This is on pretty tight. If I remember when I put it on last time, it's like 100 and 105, 115 pounds foot torque, foot pounds of torque on that. So it takes a lot to, to break that free. Uh, you're supposed to wedge a large screwdriver or bar in here. This is the best thing I've found. Railroad tie. I was lucky enough to have five, six of these. My my daughter's boyfriend, he found these, thought I could do something with them, so he, he gave them to me. Uh, this is the best use I've had out of them yet. Again, I'm going to use safety glasses because I am using a power tool here. I'm not supposed to really turn this backwards, this pulley they say, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring it around till uh till I can get this in there because it is gonna try to go backwards when I try to break this free. Let's see if I can get this here. The bolt's not really the bad part. The bad part is when we have to pull this off with a puller. It is it is in there good. It's crazy. A press fit so all right hold that with one hand use my power tool with the other this is forward backward okay let's see what we can do here Damn, that was a lot easier. Now, I don't have an air compressor. This is a, uh, just got this specifically because of the car. A half inch drive, uh, impact wrench, electric from Freight Harbor Freight. So far, it's working out. I went ahead and I picked up the metric size. Uh, deep wells because well you can use a shallow but deep well if you need to get on something so uh, working out so far we'll give a better review of this later all right here's the damper pulley now the way this works it looks like these are two different materials it's actually just one material it's a uh, one piece they've it just looks like it's separate the puller, you have to insert for this style in the Dodge a rod in here. They have a special kit, but uh, O'Reilly's, Advance, uh, AutoZone, none of them could find the kit that I needed. O'Reilly even called the uh, their distributor who gives them the Rent-A-Tool kits and were telling them exactly what we needed. They didn't have it. Some of them have screws in here that you put your like Y yoke thing on there and then push through the middle. This one doesn't. This you grab three places. They've got notches cut into this pulley or forged into it when they've made it. And uh, uses this kind of puller. We'll put it on. And then the center rod that turns and pushes pushes off the rod in the middle. So we got to put our rod in here. This is an 8 millimeter uh, on a socket, Allen wrench. The, the head here helps out a lot so that the pulling tool, as you can see, fits in it like that and centers itself up. So I'm going to put it on and show you how we, let me put it on there and I'll show you how it looks. All right, one thing I'm having to do, I didn't want to use the smaller puller. It just, I don't, I want to use the bigger one. Only problem is the arms won't go in like that. So you got to put them in a twist. So that means I'll keep one arm on, set it on here. Then I've got to set my other ones and then attach them to the arm. And then it'll be in position. But I don't mind doing that because I don't want to break the small pulley uh, when the big pulley is the one I need. I think what I read or heard somewhere is they put that on at the factory with six tons of press force. So 
you know, the bigger puller I can use, the better. Make sure all my my connecting points are tight so it don't have like slack for something to you know shift and shear or something like that. I'm about to move this light. Just crank on it and it'll uh it'll break free. So uh, I'm going to keep working on this, and then when it comes off, I'll show you what it looks like. I had to put the uh, railroad spike back in, because once I got a certain amount of, you know, uh, pressure on that, the uh, pulley wanted to spin. So I spun it past the arm, stuck the bar back in there, whatever you're using, and that way it won't spin. Alright, popped right off. And uh, it is right here. So that's where your alternator belt goes. And then here's where your uh, pulley, your belt for your power steering goes. That is the, uh, I use the Harbor Freight uh, gear puller. It comes a set of four. They had them on sale for $19.99. And I got four. This is the meat. This is the neck size down from the largest, and it worked just fine. So uh, next thing we're gonna take off this bolt. This bolt. They are for the timing chain cover. The outer timing chain cover is. Oh man, I got that right first time. Eight millimeters is what these are. And then once I take that off, this right here will expose uh, some timing marks. And this outer plate here will come off. And then I can access the uh, tension on the uh, timing belt. Have to pull a little a uh, tension tensioner assembly off of there. So. We'll get the timing cover off first. Eight millimeter bolts.